Hey, hi all. Welcome to BRR Knowledge Center. In this session, we'll talk about how to export the load test results, which we are running through K6 Grafana Open Source tool to a Grafana Cloud dashboard. So there is a cloud uh, Grafana uh, no, login. So you can just uh, register it as a free account there so that you will have you now the UI, which is coming as like this way, which is just opening with you know, your account. So I just uh, created with my free, uh, no, the, uh, uh, free account with my uh, Gmail account. And then it has default given me a kind of UI here. And then a uh, couple of options here for me. Current usage, I think already using it since two weeks. So, so many things are uh, now showing here. And here itself, we have a dashboard. So in this dashboard, we can create our dashboards or we can you know, um, get through already, already existing dashboards. And uh, other options are like, you know, going back here and see um, performance testing. So here, a couple of things are already exported to here in the cloud Grafana. So hence it is showing here. Now we will export it in, uh, right away in this session and see like how these are appearing in this cloud. Okay, so let me open my Visual Studio Coder and then see like how I'm going to run through this K6 CLI command. So this is my test script. So it's already having it with virtual users five and duration five seconds. And these are some of the threshold values I've already mentioned it uh, because I just wanted to mark the file request based on these conditions. So what I'm trying to is I have an API where it is uh, having an endpoint to uh, update, which is accepting the uh, ID as you know, query parameter, the 387. And then I'm going to update location name. Okay, so for this, this is what the script has been written. So once it is executed, I'm going to print the response back and then checking the status for equal to equal to 200, then it is succeeded. Otherwise I'm going to notify that it is a failed request. Okay, so far I think you are, uh, um you know fine with this i'm just saving this i'm just running a normal uh you know command k6 and uh, api uh, patch request so it is running this way right so now what it is doing is it is just sending uh, uh all the requests to api and if you look at here i just uh, place the console log here right the response to print out on the ui and it is printing all the stuff so this is updating here and succeeded. This is succeeded. This is succeeded, 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 succeeded. So in the span of five seconds, it has almost sent 25 iterations. That means 25 times this you know, same reason has been sent to server and tried to update it. So it was successfully updated. Hence it is you now showing succeeded because I put the same console log if it is 200. Now also you can see that this is what the red cross mark because the response time of uh, almost 95 requests are having 264.17 milliseconds. Um, hence, it is uh, showing that error 007 is the shoulders on metric HTTP request duration have been breached. Going back here and check that how much you mentioned it here. I just mentioned two milliseconds, but it is beyond that uh, taking like, you know, 2.264. So let me do that, like uh, pre ended Let me run same thing, right? Now see that how the test is being processed. It seems everything is fine so far. Then running for almost 25 iterations. Now everything is in green tick marks, no errors. So all good. Going back to your API and see that whether your update statement uh, properly updated your location or not. I'm just refreshing this. My location being updated so now it is updated so on so i'm going to again change this and run through and check that again i'm going here and i do 3387 right i'm going to do this 3387 right and try to run same test and see that so again running through five users in the five seconds so i'm uh, going back to my uh, api and see that refresh this now you see that it has been updated with 3.8. That means your uh, load test is running perfectly because it is successfully sending request to your web server to update the location, right? So now I wanted to run through, you know, it's uh, run run through scenes test scenario and update 
the matrix on cloud Grafana dashboard, but not on console. This is console you are seeing, right? But I wanted to update into you know, Grafana dashboard. Okay. So for that, so as I mentioned, here the command is k6 cloud. Instead of k6 run, you just right you press that. You have a command here, k6 cloud. Run a test on the cloud. So far, we are running through a run command. It is just running your load test and showing on your console the metrics. But now I wanted to you know, export all these metric stats to cloud Grafana dashboard. Hence, I must use a cloud command, right? What I'm going to do is I'll keep as it is same load test. I'm just going to change this. Uh, this time, uh, 3387 updated cloud. Okay. I'm just um, updating location name k6 cloud, right? And API patch dot test. Now, what it is doing is it will not display anything here on the console because you just mentioned cloud, means it is automatically transforming all the result sets to a cloud, right? You can see here default file looping virtual uses for five seconds. And the graceful stop is 30 seconds. That means after 30 seconds, it is going to stop your load test, right? Still, it is running now. I'm initializing your process and then trying to put our you know, that transforms all metrics back to uh, your Grafana Cloud uh, dashboard, right? You can hear, you can see here, I think it is not accepting the local URL because it is having some you know, port number and HTTP. There might be a problem with your Grafana dashboard itself because the mixed content is traversing between, you know, internal net, which is having a problem. So, but anyway, you can see the results are there itself. So if you look at here, execution was on the cloud, and script was this thing, and output is uh, having on this URL. This is what you want to URL right now. Going back here, I'm just paste it and run through. When I run through, so you will having that result set in Grafana dashboard. Now you can see that. So this is what the uh, no result set being transported to Grafana dashboard, virtual users and virtual users time. And the 35 seconds it has taken for five users. And this is the graph you can see requested made 25 requests, HTTP failures 25, P gaps. And uh, why this failure is because of I said it is an HTTP localhost, so port number might be that is a problem. So that's that I think we can leave that. I think you, next time when you try this command, you just give proper naming or proper website and try it. And also you can see a couple of uh, you know other aspects also here. So all these things you can see that. So thresholds, HTTP request failure and HTTP request duration we have mentioned and checks and HTTP. This is what the request we have sent to a patch method and uh, script execution logs. I think you can see the logs also very beautifully. So what it is saying is request fail error path so and so IP address is in a block listed range. This was in the block listed range. Hence, it is not sent. Okay, so I think we will try with valid IP address, right? So, and coming to here, what else we can see? Okay, going back, projects, performance dashboard. And this is what recently updated API patch request.js. And clicking on that, and you can see the finished stuff, and you can see the stuff, right? Mm. Click here to create motion, right? Okay, yep, this is something you can see here, and this is the finished. And you can see the virtual user count, how it has gone through a uh, wrap up to five users, like right? again down to I mean, zero user. So, all this stuff was exported here. And if you look at the previously ran this thing, now the basic stuff. I think um, I've been seeing uh, all the stuff here, you know, like uh, all the requests. In this case, I think the delete location, get location, get location, save location, update location. Of course, all these get failure because of the uh, IP address. But we can see the uh, kind of uh, metrics and the stats it's being transported to a uh, Grafana dashboard. All this stuff we can see, uh, very uh, beautiful UI it is having it, right? 
you can check um, what are the past requests and failed requests and you know even skip request and all the requests you can see in the single click so if you look at a past request too many times there is this high load generator memory usage you can go through all this stuff and you can you know um, prepare a report if you want it or you can share this report or the direct url to your end user or the customer or the you know um, top order persons they can view that in the graphical representation for more understanding and you no know, dashboard itself and they can come up with issues saying that so and so has been taken much time and you need to look into that and further you made a change and you will rerun that and again push the uh, matrix to grafana dashboard and again they will log into the grafana and they can see that this is very very beautiful why we, have, we are having it but I definitely sure make sure that i think we must have an account and it might be a um, licensed or a free account but make sure we have a you know, licensed one so that we'll have a different options here to filter and uh, you make sure uh, all the options are available only in the licensed account, but not in the free account. For the demonstration purpose, I just tried with my free account. Hence, I can see only limited options here. Okay. So this is something I think how we are transporting results set to um, a Grafana dashboard. Okay. Mm, I think we have to change IP because it is not uh, allowing us to uh, do that. So what we'll do that is I think... Um, So instead of uh, uh, this thing, I think we'll make use of another thing. Let me do this thing. I'm doing this. I'm going to comment this, right? Uh, I'll just say HTTP dot get off HTTP slash example dot com. And see what is happening there. Let's let run through uh, your local. Get pass request. And good, uh, succeeded, succeeded, fine, fine. Now I'll run again through uh, cloud, right? And see that what is happening there. So now it is initiating the process to export my you know, load test results to our Grafana dashboard. And it is, you can see that stuff once it is done. Okay, good, good. I think I like this dashboard. So instead of you know uh, seeing on the console, so if you can have a dashboard, that is very easy for you to transport or you can share that report to anyone. That's very nice dashboard, which is having so many filters to filter the result set. Whatever threshold values you wanted to filter there or requests or response or content, everything you can filter there based on you know, options you have it. Okay, so far it is done, finished. No more errors are uh, displaying here. That means I'm pretty much sure that all the reports reports exported successfully let me let me open that and see what is that where is that let me go back what are the url it has mentioned here like this one this is the instance i'm going here let me run through here we go so it is it is it is showing all the results which we are seeing on the console is it sharing or not sharing? Okay. Now you can see 25 requests, no failures, right? The earlier we have seen in all our failure state, right? And here also you can see that everything has been successfully done it. No failure request, all are 2200. And this is the time it has taken, everything perfect. And no errors. This is the script we have written. Same script it has mentioned here. So, how it was written like that. And no exceptions, I can see. Example 200. Yep, yeah, there's something log. Even if it's failure or success, it is going to log you for you no know, kind of IAS laws or Apache laws. So, what request it has been sent, what was the response it has given back, or something like that. So that's it. So this is very beautiful, right? So we can see, um, so uh, you know, uh, uh, beautiful UI with the graphical representation, right? You can see like how it is now coming out the response and what uh, uh, level of, uh, uh, you know, request being processed to the observer when uh, 
user count reaches to my specified user count. So all this stuff we can see in the uh, single batch. Okay. So I hope uh, you have understood how, how it is working. And uh, you are, I think, um, uh, I hope you will be definitely satisfied by seeing the dashboard because this is what we require as a you know, kind of end user because I don't want to get into that in the plain text or dashboard I and mean, console and remembering or taking a snapshot or saving some uh, stuff by copying that. All these nonsense are necessarily taking up time. If we can have everything in a single page or single dashboard that we can simply share the URL to whoever want to see that, they can simply open the URL and they can see that a single place. That's how I think nowadays people are doing that for you know, kind of uh, insights in the data, right? So here also you're just putting all this stuff into here and they can see coming to here in a single place and they can analyze that like five requests for 10 milliseconds, four requests for 80 milliseconds, three requests for six milliseconds. I think they can filter out here even by exploring more on that, they can see um, so many filters are coming out here. If you want to filter uh, based on like, you know, kind of uh, uh, time or number of users or the time uh, or request for seconds, everything you can uh, check that here, right? Or you can change the graph, you want to change it to something. So this basically uh, a local is showing a request rate, right? This, you know, kind of um, light blue is response time and it is virtual user count. Okay, so what else? Uh, that's all about like know how to uh, export real set back to uh, Grafana Cloud using uh, simple command K6 Cloud, right? Good. And now there is another option also we have it to uh, if you want to you know uh, export results to a file here, you can do that. It's not there is no matter in that. So I'm just uh, again getting back so to the back state like uh, updating of my local api so now i wanted to run this right and keep all or put i mean export all the uh, results to a static file here so for this we have a command like output logo let me see that this is what the command so here batch request so so what i'm trying is K6 run hyphen icon console icon output. This is the you no know, option or the command you need to mention it here. And this is the name you are going to give it. Let us say, like um, uh, locations. I'm going to change this name so that we will have some understanding. Location API stats. Right. And when I run this, right, it is going to uh, export my results to this file. See that this file is created location api stats and it is running so here so whatever results it is just playing here all the results are being exported to this log file you can see here this log file this one so this is what the log file it is exporting so if you want to see that log file like what was the request sent and what was the response returned back from server to client and what was the status of your http request everything can track through this log file okay this is uh, something you can see of course you can see other options as well uh, right in the case it's help and i request you please go through these and you can see that like how to use other options so we have just used this uh, option here like the output console where is that mm. i think you can see use log format as well and can be string and address string and quiet with boost and no color visible color output log format string mm, i think um, address console output i think it's better to visit the case uh, site and go through the other commands which is providing as part of this and you can run through okay so this is something I would like to explain you to report stats to cloud and also uh, export logs into your know, plain file into your local disk. Okay. Thanks for listening to this video and please subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you.